You want to do this uh, Michael Knowles thing? Hooters content. We're going viral now. Oh, baby. Um, I mean... You guys played sports when you were younger. Did you ever have like a really cool dad that your little league uh, Hooters. championship that took you to Hooters? I've heard those stories. Uh, Bismarck Mandan, North Dakota, did not have a Hooters, so I was I'm only so able to dream about Hooters <laughs> until I went to uh, undergrad in Fargo where they had a Hooters and I got some uh, undercooked uh, boneless wings. That's uh, that's a beautiful story. It's an, as American as apple pie. And Michael Knowles, though, is um, pro Hooters, too. So that's that's some we agree on. Hey, Mike. Hey, yeah, let's uh, I mean, I, I can't even believe those places exist when porn is in, 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 like so wide. Porn propagated. doesn't feed you. So <laughs> <laughs> only it only feeds you emotionally. Not yet. Anyway. <laughs> um, here's a Michael Knowles supporting Hooters. <laughs> I've seen this response from the pro drag people I, I have to ask who are all these dads taking their five-year-olds to hooters where are they i don't really see them i've been to hooters on a handful of occasions bachelor parties I remember once as a teenager i went but i don't i, I was never right. taken to hooters when i was five. a bachelor party I, no offense out there but dude that's not where you go for a bachelor's party <laughs> is the are, is the bachelor 13 years old man like that is that's, that's dark a sad like mm, you uh, go to a strip club yeah <laughs> are they i don't really see them i've been to hooters on a handful of occasions bachelor parties I remember one, once as a teenager i went but i don't I, I was never taken to hooters when i was five or six I don't and and furthermore I don't want to evade the question here uh, yes there are plenty of things that are straight that might not be totally appropriate for certain age groups although you know Hooters it's not like you go to a strip club it's not like the waitresses are twerking or something they're just wearing sort of tightly fitted shirts and bringing you your chicken wings and it's good chicken wings right no, it's, it. it. no it, it's not cool. like they're uh, strippers they're just there to get sexually harassed by center right dads who've had a beer or two uh too many and want to feel tough in front of the rest of their family there's not a five-year-old boy on in america that would not understand what time it is if his dad took him to hooters like, yeah, like oh this is just about the food right dad like uh, please yeah <laughs> i here we go <laughs> It's not like you go to a strip club. It's not like the waitresses are twerking. That would be more They're just honest. wearing sort of <laughs> tightly fitted shirts and bringing you your chicken wings. And it's good chicken wings on the occasions I've had it. That's quite different than Drag Queen Story Hour. But furthermore, yeah, it is different in that not really Hooters, though maybe a little saucy, pun intended. Um, Great pun. Does not contradict the natural law. Okay, it's not. There are there are gradations of decadence and debauchery and um, if hooters counts as you know a naughty thing to do sign it's me not up. quite the same as men putting on dresses and stilettos and stripping half naked and jiggling for little kids at a seedy bar okay those, those are different things and i know that there are going to be people who want to say well you know look michael how she dare you suggest that doing lgbt stuff is any worse than doing straight decadent stuff but decadent. that's not they're they're not the same you're right you're right they're not the same and and uh, yeah, so gay i wouldn't bad. take your toddler you to hooters <laughs> is that it uh, i think there's a tiny bit more around a little more probably but yeah we we should take our kids to places that it is appropriate for them to be generally so it's yeah. appropriate for them to be titillated at Hooters, but not at... I like uh, natural law, like be going to Hooters and being like, everything here conforms with natural mm, law. <laughs> this is what... Hooters is what Jesus intended. Like, uh, the... Uh, um, and uh, The woman a, came from the man's like, rib, and then she wait, uh, brought us our boneless wings at Hooters in a low-cut tank top. Again, like, what they say is unnatural, but... Like trans people is like the surgery when they when they want to pretend like they don't also have a problem with social transition. But I'm sorry, like, uh, and and no shame. I I think fake breasts are fine, but I don't know like to the extent that they're any different than they trans not. women care. Yeah, he's um, he's he's struggling through this answer here. Uh, the, the yeah, just like gay is bad and straight is good. <laughs> that's that's all he's saying. Oh, yes. No, and 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 the 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 reason dads bring like their boys to Hooters is because they want to impart some sort of like 
heterosexual wink right. and nod thing onto them. Like, let's have this shared experience. Hooters is like explicitly, I even understood this as a kid when I drove past there when I was like, you know, eight. I was like, ooh, like, what's that? You know, let's make friends, uh, jokes with my friends. Um, drag shows are not sexual. Like, I don't understand. They're less sexual than Hooters by far. Yeah. There are sexual drag shows, I'm sure. But for the most part, what I've seen is it's theatrical, it's fun it's way it, theatrical that's like the yeah, key word yeah, is yeah. Like, it's like about lip, dressing lip, up lip and syncing, costumes lip syncing to jolene by dolly parton is not sexual it's not as sexual <laughs> as uh the name of this fast food chain which has shitty food is, is about tits yeah. boobs yeah. Uh, yeah and like drag shows uh, and like i know like in fargo like drag shows it's like the alt community right like you got yeah. the drag shows you also do like roller derby and stuff like that like like it's not it, it isn't like like I, I I've been to drag show in Fargo and it's like, come on, can we? Like, like for me it was like, and I was there because other people I was there with. It's like it it is too theatrical for me and like it's you know. Well, no, it, I it get was, it. If it was more titillating, um, I'd be more maybe more interested. I uh, I I went to a drag show at Stonewall, which is probably the gayest thing that uh you know or the 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 most draggy Ground place. Zero, yeah. Right, I did. I went with uh, a few of my gay friends. And um, it's like an, a genuinely exciting and like fun thing to do. And it, I didn't feel it's like a pride in a bar. Anyway, <laughs> exactly. It's like seeing a show. I, I, exactly. Yeah. You yeah. know where you know where drag shows are, were pretty prominent throughout the 20th century. I'm not sure as much now. Um, uh, on military bases. Yeah. And uh, military deployments uh, for USO shows. Um, yeah. I don't think I don't think necessarily the port the point or it was to get you know service members rocks off by, yeah. by and if they did shows. then great and even if they did yeah exactly who, who cares well and and, <laughs> and there's a comment that I I just want to highlight like a Drake show in Fargo like I I think people that like, especially come from metropolitan areas um, on the coast don't understand like every single state has college towns mm -hmm. and college towns have drag shows well, if you watch if you watch rupaul's drag race there are drag queens in rochester new york there are drag queens in nashville drag queens in connecticut in missouri drag, drag queens in springfield missouri drag queens in miami drag queens in tallahassee and, and all that's over. why i get so furious with coastal journalists who are contrarians are like oh maybe there's a debate about this um because all they are doing is putting those the, like those like there are attacks against like gay bars in New York City and stuff. So like like nobody's really out of the woods here. But the amount of like bravery that those sorts of communities have, the the gay communities and and trans communities in in like sort of red state college towns, I think like uh, you know, you know, God bless all those people. Agreed. All right, guys. Um, I'm sorry. No more time for calls. Mm, I should have gotten to three, but I just didn't. I just didn't today. All right, we're going to read some IMs and we're going to get out of here. <clears throat> um, Nutty Dan, Hooters is literal hardcore objectification. I've been to drag performances at a bar and that shit was lit. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying.